If the safety brake on your Husqvarna chainsaw doesn't work anymore, stay tuned because today I'm going to show you how to repair that. The reason why the safety brake isn't working on this chainsaw anymore is because the brake band inside is broken. Now the first thing to do to repair this is to remove the clutch cover. Grab a half inch socket or your chainsaw tool. And now remove the bar and chain. Now you'll need to remove this Phillips screw here that holds the metal cover. Now you'll need to remove the Allen bolt over here and another one on this side. The one that holds part of the recoil right on the top here. And this will pop out. And on the side of the recoil there's a small insert that goes inside the arm over here. So don't lose that. Now you're going to have to remove the four Allen bolts over here and I've already partially removed some. When you remove the plastic cover you may see that the spring wants to come out like that. That's normal. Now I'm going to start by pulling this part up and this little part here is going to pop out. And just remove that. Now what I'm going to do is pop the spring up with my hand on top of it. And you're going to see it's going to come out of here. Always keep your hands on top of the spring so it doesn't pop out and hit you. Now I'll take this part out. If it's stuck in there, just push it back like this and then bring it all up. And as you can see here on this part, this is part of the brake band that is broken and a small part of it is left on this part. And here's the brake band that goes all around the clutch here. It's hooked over here goes over there. This is where it's broken. Now what you need to do is reach in with a nice sharp screwdriver right under the spring over here. And now just lift up the spring like this and it's going to come right out. And here's the old band compared to the new one. You can see that it's missing the loop here on the broken one. This is what your new one will look like. And it's part number 503-75200 2N. There's a part number right on the band here. Now at this point here I have to remove the old part of the band from the plastic part here. And it's going to come right out. At this point in the operation it's time to reinstall the new brake band. To start the installation grab this part over here and your brake band. The side with the little hole here on top. Insert it around the plastic part like this. And now reinstall the small Phillips screw. Now I'm going to reinstall the brake band around the clutch like this. You want to line up the band in the grooves over here. Make sure it's nice and flush all the way down the round and down evenly. Now make sure to install this mechanism here onto the pin and push down. Now I'm going to install this part here with the spring right into this groove. And make sure it's pushed in all the way down like that. The next part I'm going to install is this arm here. Underneath the arm you're going to see a shaft. And it's going to go down in the hole over here. And while you're putting down the shaft, grab yourself a nice flat screwdriver like this. And bring back the spring loaded part in front of this arm. Just like this. I'm going to pry against the spring loaded part. Push down the arm. This is exactly how you want this to be installed. The spring loaded part has to be putting pressure against this arm. And I'm going to install the spring. I'm going to start by inserting it into the shaft here. You may want to slide the spring underneath the handlebars. And you may want to spray some liquid wrench just to make it easier to put it in. Now with a large flat screwdriver I'm going to grab the rear of the spring. Watch your fingers doing this so you don't stab yourself with the screwdriver. And push the spring right into the groove. So this is how it's going to look so far. And before I reinstall the cover I'm going to put a bit of lithium grease on some of the parts. It's just going to prevent wear and tear.
Always be careful with your fingers when you work inside of spring-loaded parts. At this point here, install this plastic cover back on. And don't forget the four Allen bolts. And make sure that all these Allen bolts are on pretty tight. Now I'm going to reinstall this metal cover here. Now make sure you've got the insert inside the brake handle. Insert it over here like this. Now make sure that the brake handle along with the insert is installed correctly in its place. And now install the Allen bolt that goes over here. Now at this point all that's left to install is the barn chain. Grab your barn chain together, you may want to wear gloves doing this. Insert it on the chainsaw. For those of you who aren't familiar doing this, you want to make sure that the teeth are pointing this way toward the front of the saw and that it's back into the adjusting pin over here and that the chain is correctly on the sprocket over here. And now install the clutch cover. And tighten up the two nuts, make sure they're very tight. The next thing I'm going to show you is how to check to see if your brake is working. Normally you're going to be able to turn a chain like this when the brake handle is back here. Now when you pop the handle toward the front and you hear a click, then you shouldn't be able to move the chain. And in this case I can't. So now I know that the chain brake works on this chainsaw, but I'm still going to start up the chainsaw and test it out that way. So thanks again for watching guys, make sure to subscribe and remember if you do this kind of work, make sure that you know what you're doing and that you're always working safe.